about today in this video is, whew, ready? It is take action, share your value and ask for the sale. So this is a step that we often get stuck at, myself included. And whenever I remember or go back to my four step process and do it, I make money. So um, I am helping health coaches right now. My first round of health coaches quit their day jobs and we're getting to this step. So up until this step, everything's good. And then this is the step where people freeze or they just, they're nervous. They don't want to ask for the sale. They don't want to put themselves up out there. They don't want to share their value and you have to, to make money. This is the key finishing touch, the icing on the cake. So give me an example of today, what I did to make over a thousand dollars in one day. I shared my value or I shared content on um, my lifestyle program under nourish. And then I actually asked, I reached out to two people that I thought would love the program. And sure enough, they signed up and they spent money. So, and that's how I made the money. If I didn't ask them, they might not have remembered or signed up. So that's the key thing. Don't be afraid to ask people you might think will love your program. Um, and share your value over and over again because people don't often buy on the first time they see things. They buy on the 10th or um, they need to be reminded. So this step is by far the hardest. I know it's not the easiest thing to go out there and put yourself out there, especially if you're new, if you don't have confidence in yourself or your services or your program. So I'm going to give you a little hat, couple of hacks for if you're nervous, you don't want to go on video, you don't want to personally reach out to people, you're scared. Here are some things you can leverage other people, their platform that they, maybe they already love you and they can talk about you freely. So connect with people that, you know, have either previously done your services or some of your close friends, friends that can talk about you freely and ask them, say, Hey guys, I'm coming out with this new product or I'm about to launch. Um, do you think that your audience would like it? Do you mind if I come on your show or your Facebook page? Um, could you help me out? So you could leverage your friends network. So if you're too shy to talk about yourself, your best buddies are going to be able to talk about you. No problem. Same with your, your business coaches or your business supports that love you. They can talk about you. So until you're ready, until you have your confidence built up to talk about yourself and your own services, um, ask other people to do it as well as past clients. If you've had clients that you know, I've had great successes. Don't be scared to ask them to share with their friends or just tell a little bit of their experience. Testimonials are amazing. People purchase if they're moving away from pain or towards pleasure. And what better way than when they see these results or the transformation or before and after pictures or a client telling their personal experience, right? So um, this step is often missed and is needed a hundred percent needed you I see so many health coaches as well as for years I did this I got up to the point I had these awesome products available I had all the training all the knowledge I was a dietitian a yoga teacher I had all this value to give but I didn't ask and nothing sold so it's the hardest step it's the last step it's the fourth step to quitting your day job but guys, you got to do it. So you have to start somewhere. Take action. Start with your Instagram stories. Those disappear after 24 hours. If you really don't like it, you can delete it before anyone sees it. Start with a Facebook group where you have nobody in there. You can just create some videos and then, um, and then save them if you want or delete them if you hate them. Where else could you start? You could start with your friends and family, the people that you know love you. So here's another tip to when you're launching a product or you're asking for a sale. Stay away from the people who are going to drag you down or who are not going to be supportive of you. Don't tell them. If it's friends and family and you're around them or coworkers, talk about the weather, talk about the sports, but don't talk about your product with them because you have to do everything you can to keep your vibe high and um, keep your vibe high and keep your confidence up because people will feel that. And the number one reason people purchase is because they're, you're solving a problem, but they're often purchasing because of you and your vibe. They want to if, be like you. If you're a health coach or if you're a business coach, they want to be like you financially. They want to walk in your shoes. They want to end up where you are. So 
you got to keep your vibe high. And the best way to do that is to hang out with people who um, are where you want to be and those who are supportive, those who will raise you higher. Um, so that's the fourth step is sharing your value. So all that that means is getting in front of people, whether that's at a busy, in a busy parking lot at a networking event on Facebook live on Instagram live, um, inviting people to a free webinar or a social or, a um, meet and greet or a chit chat when you walk through the park, whatever, however you want to get in front of people. Um, and you don't have to do all of it guys. I just do Instagram and Facebook. That's it. I don't really go to a networking events. So you find where you can do it with ease. So whether that's podcasting or showing up live, meeting with people, doing clarity calls, one-on-one -on -one clarity calls, however you can get in front of your ideal client, then it's of ease to you. That's sharing your value. Don't just come on with a sell. You want to share some information. You're going to help them first. So they'd like, know, and trust you before you pitch something to them. Um, and ask for the sale. You got to ask for it. So here's another roadblock that people, people get to. They're sharing all their stuff. They're sharing everything they got and then they don't ask for the sale. So people are getting everything they need from the free offer. So a little tip here, sell the puzzle, give away the puzzle pieces for free, sell the system, sell the transformation. Okay. So if you're confused on what to give for free, for free content, for lead generation and what to charge for, sell the puzzle piece. <laughs> Give away the puzzle pieces, sell the system. Okay, so comment below, let me know how you're gonna take action right away to step into this mode because you could say for every day for the rest of your business or non-business career that you're gonna do it when you're more ready, when you have more experience, when you have more followers, when you this, that, and the other thing. The best thing is just to get started and ladies and gents, you the last thing you wanna do is not do it because it's not perfect. Imperfection is actually valued. Authenticity is valued. People want to hear from you as an honest person. They don't care if your hair is right. I went to the gym and didn't even do my hair. I'm not wearing any makeup. People don't care. People listen to what you have to say if you are A, educating, or B, entertaining. If you can do both, better. So if you have a dog or some sort of entertainment that can be of value on your videos, bring them on. People like moving things. So walk around with your camera outside. People like to be entertained on social media and educated. So that's all you have to do. And hey, if they don't like it, they can unfollow you. And it's not about the number of followers. It's about engagement and it's about the quality. So um, I don't have a huge Instagram following or Facebook following. It doesn't matter. I still am successful with what I have because the people I have purchase the programs and I have things, um, the prices marked right. So let me tell you another thing is it takes just, a just as a much work to sell a $99 product as it does to sell a thousand dollar product. Keep that in mind when you're creating your financial plan, when you're creating your program price. And when you charge more, you're going to be working with people who are more invested, more likely to change, more willing to change. And quite honestly, they they're easier to work with. They're going to demand less of, of your time because they're busy. So keep that in mind. There's an awesome podcast by James Wedmore. It's on Mind Your Business Podcast, How to Raise Your Prices. If you want the direct link, send me a message. I can send it to you. I remember listening to that podcast years, year and a half to two years ago when I raised my prices. And I was at that time charging 100 bucks a consult, just kind of one ofs, totally drained. I was working as a dietitian at all these clinics. I started charging a thousand bucks for the transformation for the program instead of one of, because every time you have to resell somebody on a follow-up, right? So instead, sell it once as a transformation. Sell the transformation. Don't get caught up in the nitty gritties. People don't care. They're going to look at it before they press the purchase button of what's included. But for the most part, they're buying the transformation. They're not buying this, that, and the other thing and everything's included. And uh, especially women. Women purchase because... Um, you've tugged at their heartstring, you've, uh, you've told them a story, you're emotionally connected, they can understand that your product or program is going to get them away from pain or towards pleasure, whatever that desired pain or pleasure is. Man, I love talking about this stuff. Thank you, staring at me. 
So long story short, I made over a thousand bucks today and I also went for two walks and I also made split pea soup and I also uh, went to the gym and I also am going to yoga and I'm also making this video. So you don't have to be run off your feet to make the desired income that you want. You can set things up so that they're processed. So these programs that I sold, they automatically got a welcome email. People like things upon purchase. They like something tangible. Um, that was just automated. I didn't have to do it, right? So set things up and I don't have to do anything for them right away. So it's not disturbing me from my day of driving traffic or I had a client call today. So that's what you want too, is you want your systems, uh, sales systems in place so that it's not taking you away from your revenue generating things when you make a sale. All that that means is it's not taking you out of the zone because 80 to 90% of what I do is drive traffic to sales. Otherwise nothing would sell. I do that, my ambassador team does that, Pre previous clients do that. Um, the internet does that through, for example, the two programs I sold today is my lifestyle program by Nourish. And I had a webinar that I did 10 days ago. So that's 24 seven working for me. It's a free web class that people watch to see if they like, like my vibe, like the program. And then it's selling constantly without me having to show up. Right? So that's what it's all about is finding things to repurpose to work for you so that you can still go to yoga, you can still go to the gym, it's Monday morning, or it's Monday afternoon now, but it's Monday, and even though I'm not wearing any makeup and I look kinda tired, it wasn't an exhausting day at all. I just kinda did my thing, and, and I was talking to a health coach today and she's setting up her plan so to escape her job by January, and she asked me the question of, um, calendar and boundaries she really wants structure so she asked and some of the things that I do are uh, I make sure I have a solid morning routine before I look at my phone because phone is where my business is so it and things can throw you off like a sale comes through then you're all of a sudden thinking that or doing something else when really a morning routine listening to audio setting the stage for your day is most important uh, an evening routine super beneficial making sure whatever it's your self care, that sort of stuff gets slotted in before you get super busy, before you're reacting to client calls, to things that come up, customer service stuff, um, or sales, right? It's really exciting when you get a sale. So that might increase your vibe and allow you to show up online and maybe sell more, or it could throw you off and get and distract you. So having these things in place, some people really like like a Monday to Friday scenario where they do certain things. Client calls on Wednesday, podcasts on Thursday. Um, customers love consistency, so whatever it is you choose, whether that's doing a newsletter a week, or for me, it's a Facebook Live a day. That's pretty intense. You don't have to do that much, but that's just how I choose to show up. When I first started Nourish, I was working full-time for a different job. All I did, my only commitment, so I didn't overwhelm myself, was a newsletter every Thursday. And at that time, newsletters were still kind of hot. Now, I don't think anyone reads them. I know I just delete all mine if they even make it to my inbox, they usually go to junk. So different things you can do are newsletters, podcasts, Facebook Live, posts, personally connecting. Um, key is just consistency. So, um, whew. All right guys, thanks for watching. This was the fourth step of my four step process where people often get stuck and you're so close, you're sitting on gold, you're so ready to make the money but you're nervous or you just don't have the confidence or the systems in place. The best way to get your confidence up and to try it out is just to practice. Take action, share your value, lead with value, 90% value, 10% sell, educate and entertain and ask, ask for the sale. And at the beginning, if you don't have a huge following, maybe you're personally messaging people and asking them. What's the worst that happens? They say no, right? Or asking them if they know anyone or creating a reward system so that previous customers get a discount or previous clients. The most likely um, person to buy is someone who's already purchased something from you or already come to your free event. So those people are the ones that you wanna ask. Um, yeah, so this topic was all on the four step, share your 
value show up that was it take action share your value and ask for the sale thanks for watching guys i'm steph and i help people like you create a life and a business that you absolutely love and quit your day job all right guys thanks for watching i'll see you uh, tomorrow screenshot time Cranky is, Cranky, come here, bud. Let's see if I can get him in the shot. Come here. Cranky, what's this? He does not care. He's got his calm. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you have a topic that you want covered, send me a message. And I'll see you tomorrow.